So I'll talk a little bit about how to go from the laser sh shot out at a distance to an XYZ Cartesian coordinate system that, um, that, is, pro that is the easiest way um, to work with the data. Um, so the first aspect is uh, the horizontal angle of the LiDAR. So the current mechanical ones in the market right now will um, spin around mechanically and then as the, as the lasers are being shot out at different, at different angles, it, it will be recorded what that angle was that the LiDAR was shot out from. Um, so this is important, so now you can kind of get a 360 um, degree view of what's, of what's happening around the LiDAR. Um, the other aspect is the vertical angle. Um, so the LiDARs have multiple lasers at different angles. And here you can see this is from the, this is uh, some different vertical angles specifically um, of the LiDAR. Along with their firing order, because the firing order matters and it's sort of, um, that, that sequence is important because you don't want um, one laser firing to accidentally be mischaracterized as another laser firing. So there, there's, you can see how the firing order corresponds to um, the different vertical angle, angle pairs here, which is kind of a clever mechanism here. So you can see that, you can see the, the sort of, um, every other firing here corresponds to like a top half and a second half of those vertical angles. Um, exactly. so, as, so as not to interfere with each other. Exactly. Um, and so different LiDARs will have different numbers of lasers um, from 8, 16, 32, 64. There's ones below as well. And um, they will have kind of these, uh, these different angles. Um, so it'll be interesting to kind of see how that the solid state deals with these angles as well. Um, so trying to kind of put all of that together. David talked about that time of flight to get the distance. And then I was referring to the, um, the different angles. And essentially what that's doing is that it, because you have those two, the horizontal and vertical angle and the distance are, you can convert that, those spherical coordinates into Cartesian X, Y, Z um, coordinates, which is essentially what, what our drivers are doing. It's reading the network information from the LiDAR um, reading out these different angles and then doing some simple trigonometry to convert it to XYZ. Uh, and here's just a couple nice views of, um, oh, going back here, of the, the different uh, vertical angles, omega, and then the different horizontal angles as the um, with alpha. Um, so we will get some, here's actually a code snippet from, from the code that we're releasing today, um, where we've, we've gotten in the, the, different, the different angles from the, the, the packet, the network packet, and now this is the actually doing that trigonometry, where we have the radius, how far did the LiDAR go, and return the um, return, as well as uh, the angle, the uh, horizontal angle, doing the um, sine or cosine on that. Basically, yes, converting from spherical coordinate system to a Cartesian coordinate system. Right? Exactly, that we work in. And then for this, we also just have those those elevation angles that were shown up here. Those are um, those are hard coded and. You can just now look up the specific um, elevation angle for that specifically to now convert the the radius information those and those two angles into the x relative, y relative, and um, z relative. What's the typical firing frequency? Um, for example, the the VLP sixteen fires at um, three hundred kilohertz. Um, so we're actually, we're getting a return rate of about three hundred thousand points per second. Um, the firing rate, I guess, corresponds exactly three hundred thousand points. Yeah. Um, and those are all just right on the. Um, um, those are usually just on the on the data sheet, so you can grab that particular lidar, get the 
open up the data sheet and it, it usually will have the firing frequency, it'll have things like the um, the noise, what's the what's the uniform noise? And the, yeah, the, the delta, the, the distance uh, accuracy as well. 